Okay, so now since we've done a lot of problems regarding the conduction through a slab or a flat wall, try naman natin i-consider ang conduction through a hollow cylinder. So this is very important for us to understand this because um, this conduction actually happens inside pipes. Kasi kung makapansin nyo, lahat naman ng pipes ay, ano, or tubes ay hollow. Ibig sabihin nun, may certain thickness siya and then sa loob nun is kung ano man yung nandun, fluid or even gas. So, ano na siya? Parang empty space na siya, no? So, conduction also happens during those cases. Ano? And then, what happens here is that yung heat natin, nagtatravel siya from the surface dun sa, sa inner surface natin. So, halimbawa, ito yung ating R sub 1. So, ito yung parang inner diameter nung ating tube. So, mangyayari dyan, yung heat na travel siya, if, for example, ay mas mababa yung temperature sa labas, so, mangyayari dyan, is magta-travel siya mula dun sa inner diameter papunta dun sa outside temperature na mas mababa. For example lang, ha? And, kabaliktaran naman siya if mas mataas yung temperature sa ta sa, 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 ta sorry, sa labas compared dun sa ating loob. So, basta yung heat natin, general form niya lagi is Yung T1 or T2, pwede siya magkabaligtad. Basta, ang consider lang lagi natin na T2 natin is yung mas mababang temperature. Okay? So, ayun. Kaya, kaya, kaya kasi na tayo nagkakaroon ng negative sign doon, no? So, anyway. So, ganun yung mangyayari dyan. Nagka-travel siya from the inner diameter to the outer diameter given na mas malamig sa outside, no? Then, pabalik siya if yung temperature natin is kapag mas malamig sa inside. Okay? So, ano ba yung difference nito? No? Actually, yung ating equation na general form ng Fourier equation which is Q over A equals negative K dt over dx. Nanawa kayo dito kasi ito lagi gagamitin natin. No? Um, this equation is also true for this um, cases. No? But the thing is, meron tayong konting difference dito sa area. Now, remember, yung slab kasi natin, when heat, uh, mag, siguro magbigay lang tayo ng konting ano dito, visualization. No? Kasi di ba yung slab visually square siya. No? And then, meron kayong area dito. So, yung heat, pag nag-travel siya through that thickness, papunta dun sa kabilang side ng area na yun, itong area nito is constant from this face to that back, dun sa, ano niya, sa, sa, ba yun, sa kabilang side niya na area. No? Magkapare sila ng area. No? But, if you notice dito sa ating hollow cylinder, pag nag-start yung heat natin, conduction through this inner diameter, palabas, lumalaki kasi yung ating radius. No? And then, radial yung travel niya. Eh. Hindi siya yung parang perpendicular dun sa ating um, area na diretso lang, no? na constant. So, siya, radial movement siya. Then, palabas pa rin naman. Though perpendicular pa rin naman siya, pero the thing is, kung makapansin nyo, hindi na siya nagiging constant. Given nga kasi agad na R1, R2 is greater than R1. So, dito pala sa figure, masasabi natin na R2 is greater than R1. Okay? So, for that case, let's try to derive the equation for our um, conduction through hollow cylinder. So, we'll be using the same formula, but in this case, we need to replace our area with the area of our hollow cylinder. Now, question, alin ba yung gagamitin natin na area? Is it um, 2 pi r l or pi d rin siyang pi d or yung ating pi r squared. Okay? So, oh, pili kayo dyan and then check nyo kung tama. No? So, the answer is this one. Okay? Not this one. Bakit? Kasi, kung makapansin nyo, yung area natin na kinoconsider naman is hindi naman tong area nitong circle na to eh. Actually, this is the area of the pipe. So, kung alin lang yung nagkakaroon ng contact nung heat, yun yung consider natin. And for that one, we need to consider yung mismong pipe. And the area of the pipe is syempre 2 pi RL yan or pi D. Okay? So, yun. So, huwag kayong makakonfuse dun, no? Yung ating pi R square, ginagamit lang natin siya sa paghahanap ng ating mga um, dimension ng mga diameter or radius ng ating pipe. Pero if we're talking about the area of the pipe, we're considering 2 pi RL. Now, with that, this is equal to negative k dt. And then, sabi nga natin, yung dx is ito yung ating differential length 
kung saan nagtatravel yung ating heat. Dito sa ating um, slab, this is the dx kasi nagtatravel siya along dun sa thickness ng ating slab. Pero in this case, nagtatravel siya, nag-start siya, nag siya dun sa dulo ng ating inner diameter, then outside diameter. So in that case, ang tinatraverse niya is ito yung ating radius. Okay? So with that, this is sorry, this is not dx but this is dr. So, yan. So ito na yung ating modified equation ng Fourier's law, Fourier's equation. So we can now try to evaluate this para makakaroon tayo ng final equation. So let's just separate the variable. So we have q and then this one is dr over 2 pi rl. This is equal to negative k dt. So remember, um, the length of the pipe is constant but yung ating radius is different. No? So with that, we can now simply just um, factor this out yung mga constant natin and then just integrate dr over r from r sub 1 to r sub 2 which is equal to negative k and then same lang din dito, i-integrate natin siya from negative, ah, from t1 to t2 Okay? So, with that, let's continue our process. So, the derivative, ah, sorry, the, in, the antiderivative of dr over r is simply the, um, the natural logarithm of r. So, with that, we have ln of r evaluated from r sub 1 to r sub 2, and this one is negative k. This is simply t evaluated from t1 to t2. So, this one becomes, um, let's make it a little centered. So, we have um, Q over 2 pi L. And then, we have here ln of R sub 2. And then, minus ln of R sub 1. And then, this is equal to negative K, T2 minus T1. Um, yung absolute value, huwag nyo nang pansinin nyo, no? It's just a habit na pag nag-integrate ng ln, usually nalagyan ko siya ng absolute value. But, thing is, sa uh, chemical engineering naman, wala man tayong mga measurement na negative. So, it is not necessary na ito ilagay, no? It's just a habit na nakagawian. Habit na nakagawian pa. So, anyway. So, remember, um, this ln r sub 2 minus ln r sub 1, Kung matatandaan nyo sa property nyo ng logarithmic, meron tayong ln of a minus ln of b. Diba? This is equal to ln of a over b. So, kung duda kayo sa sinasabi ko, try nyo yung mag-calc So, same lang din yan. No? So, if that's the case, then we can rewrite this expression now in q over 2 pi l. And then this one is ln of r sub 2 over r sub 1 that is equal to negative k and then t2 minus t1 okay and if you want to further um, distribute this negative we have t1 minus t2 but hindi natin gagawin yan and then so with that kung ganito yung form natin so ang atin palang um, heat rate is equal to negative k and then t sub 2 minus t sub 1 divided by ln of r sub 2 over r sub 1 and then multiplied with our 2 pi l. Okay, so this is the final equation for our heat rate sa hollow cylinder. Okay, so madali lang siya, i-integrate lang natin. No? Okay, but there are cases na may, ma may makikita kayo sa inyong mga books na meron gumagamit ng log mean area. So, what does that mean? No? So, yung log mean area natin is A L sub M yung ating um, symbol. And this is simply the difference, the ratio of the difference dun sa ating area and then dun sa kanilang logarithmic difference. No? So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng ating log mean area. No? But, what is the relation dito sa ating general equation na na-derive? Nag-aral pa tayo ulit ng, log, ng logarithm para ma-derive to no? So, ano ba tong relationship nito, no? So, ngayon, di ba, substitute natin to in terms of our area. Kung ito is A sub 2, going back to the pipe, so, malalaman natin na itong area na tinutukoy dito is what? 
2pi and then r sub 2l kasi nga siya yung bigger area no? or outside diameter I mean outside surface no? and then this one is the inner diameter which is 2pi r sub 1l so so it is true for the, the denominator no? 2pi r sub 2l and then 2pi r sub 1l okay now in that case uh, let's just simplify this expression I can factor out 2 pi L since sila naman is constant for both sides. So, matitira lang dyan is R sub 2 minus R sub 1. Okay? And from this one, pwede natin i-cancel out na yung um, 2, this 2 pi, and then L. Kasi, pares lang naman sila. So, matitira na lang sa atin is ln of R sub 2 over R sub 1. Okay? So, doesn't this look familiar sa inyo? Itong 2 pi L, ln of R sub 2 over R sub 1. So, going back to our derived equation, kung makapansin nyo, this 2 pi L over ln of R, R sub 2 R sub 1 is this one. 2 pi L over ln of R sub 2, and then over R sub 1. So, therefore, this is our A sub LM divided by R sub 2 minus R sub 1. Okay? So, remember that. So, our 2 pi L over ln of R sub 2 over R sub 1 is equal to our A logarithmic area divided by our difference in radius. Okay? So, kung makapansin nyo, siya yun, no? Kasi di-divide natin to eh, dito. So, with that, we can now rewrite our equation into Q is equal to negative K and then area, log mean area, and then divided by r sub 2 minus r sub 1, and then this one is multiplied to the difference in temperature. So, i itapat natin ng konti ito. So, yun lang. So, as you can see now, we have another equation. So, yan na yun. And, Mind you, same lang siya nung una, -una nating din-arrive. Okay? So, this equation is the same lang dito sa ating naka-black. Okay? So, yun. Yun yung ating equation para malaman natin kung ano yung um, heat rate for a given um, conduction through hollow cylinder. 